Jasper there and welcome back to a new episode on Sundial. So of course tonight I'm giving all of my personal predictions for tomorrow. It is basically looking at this one in the short term. Um, if you do want to see us look at it again on the long term we can do that in a future episode but this one is just all of my opinions going into tomorrow and of course if that sounds like a plan please leave a like and subscribe it would be appreciated but with that being said obviously I am not a financial advisor so please make sure to do your own research but we are going to jump straight into this episode. So yeah guys Sundial stock has been pumped a lot over the past five days we can see that now we are up about 40 percent on the past week and of course going out to one month charts we can see we are up with very significant gains indeed there's up by over a hundred percent which is insane because we were talking about sundial a very long time ago back when it was in the 50 cent range if not before and you know what guys it has actually rocketed in price so of course that's not a bad thing because now we are looking at this company kind of leveling out in value i think that is a good thing because to be honest yes it is a decent company it's a decent stock and it's actually raising money um to hopefully grow the company into the future but we need to look at this one from a stock point of view and obviously it is up by a significant uh, you know amount in a short period of time and what's happened now in my opinion is it is starting to level out as people are probably taking profits not a bad thing at all in my personal view we are seeing about two days in the red now which isn't all, which isn't a bad thing either and i think leading into the future we could definitely see this one go down a little bit more um tomorrow in my personal view so of course look at this one today on the one day charts we can see we are down by a significant amount um starting off at 9 30 and of course this sell-off kind of ended at about 11 30 so of course it was relatively short and we did actually pick ourselves up um up until about half past 12 but from there we can see we sold off a bit further which does kind of indicate some more negativity in the shares price now again like i said not the worst thing in the world we're only down by about four percent so it's not even too significant and of course sundial is a very decent company it's still more of a speculative play in my opinion being a penny stock but the potential really is there with this one the fundamentals are honestly there in my personal personal view but we need to look at this one logically and I personally do believe that yes the company is good the stock is good but I don't think it is you know uh, deserving a rocket up in price by this much in such a short period of time so guys I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a little bit more of a sell-off into the next few days and that is not the worst thing at all it definitely could present an opportunity to buy the dip in my personal opinion and of course I am not a financial advisor but yeah if I was going to be buying this one I would definitely give it a miss until we do see a bit more of a decrease in price I mean we still do have the potential that it could not go down and it could still potentially go up a bit further in the next few days but even at that point guys i would still call it more of a speculative play because yes the fundamentals are there but not at this price it's not justified in my personal view so guys sundial is a very decent company i think tomorrow we could see a bit of a sell-off in the price not a bad thing at all but i think within the, the you know the earlier part of next week we will start to see it level out again hopefully in the 90 cent range if not still in the one dollar range and if we can stay in that range for some significant time i definitely think we could could see this one go back up so the potential here to touch $1.50 if not $2 is honestly there but I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow I don't think it's going to happen next week I think if we do anticipate sundial growing it definitely could happen but I think we're looking at this one in a month if not two to three months and I think at that point it is still a speculative play as there is always a possibility of this one coming back down so guys look at this one from the one month chart honestly I'm not too surprised that it's starting to level out at this point as it is up by a significant amount and I think you know what at some point in the next week it will start to flatten out and I think that is a good thing and I think it will definitely hopefully indicate to the share price going back up in value but of course it also does have the potential to come down pretty quickly as well so in conclusion guys sundial is a decent company but currently at the current price i would definitely not consider it a buy as just a risk to reward in my personal view is not favorable as it definitely could come down in price and obviously it is more of a speculative play but you know what guys if you are willing to risk a bit of money and potentially lose a bit of money maybe sundial is a stock which you could keep on your radar as it also does have the potential to rock it up past that two dollar point and um, faster than we know but even then guys i would expect it to happen in the next one to six months and I don't think that's a bad thing at all it would still represent a big increase in growth but obviously it's not as quickly as some people do anticipate so my personal view is if you are holding Sundial right now if you got in at a decent point honestly and if you're willing to risk a bit more I would definitely hold it for a more long-term period in my personal view but of course a lot of people are now taking their profits and that's not a bad thing either I think that's also another factor which has seen the price decrease by a small amount so yeah guys Sundial very decent company just to conclude and obviously it could actually go back down 
down a little bit further in the next few days and I would not be too concerned about that. It could also present some decent buy-in opportunities if it does actually start to flatten out in this um, you know, range here. But of course, if it was to go down even a bit further, it would just indicate a lot of people selling profits, a lot of hype being removed from the stock. And that's not a bad thing because even at that point, the fundamentals are still there and we are going to be seeing that long-term growth in my opinion. But obviously, the next few days could be negative for this one in my personal view as well. But I will be giving an update on my personal views tomorrow. If it sounds like a plan, guys, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye until then.